In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the very common problems we will observe in the course of using real-time rendering engines. In this case, it will be using twin motion. If you notice, there is a very obvious flickering problem down here. All right, this is caused by basically two geometries occupying the same location within the scene, like this. It can be quite easily resolved in this case. We simply, in our model export preparation, ensure that this doesn't happen by making sure they do not occupy the same space. So in this case, if I were to show you the example here, if you notice in the 3D Studio Max model down here, particularly in this location, the geometries are occupying the same plane here. All right. And when this sort of situation happens, Twin Motion will not know what we want to display first. Therein lies this flickering problem. Alright, we can easily resolve this by making sure they do not occupy the same, the same location when we export this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just move this box slightly back a little bit. In this case, I'm just going to move it by the y-axis here. I'm just going to move it by y-axis one millimeter inside this way. So I'm going to move it inwards by one mm. And in doing so, it would have changed the location of this geometry. So I'm going to select now just the box itself and go to file again, export. And this time round, I'm going to use the export selected function and click on box new data smith and click save and override it all right so let's go back to twin motion now and under this box model and click on this re-import item icon again and you'll find that this time round because the geometry of the box location has been shifted inwards by 1 mm the flickering issue is resolved already 